my channel. Today I'm going to be comparing a product from Charlotte Tilbury and a product from Tom Ford. Now I know that these are not exactly identical products. I totally understand that. Tom Ford actually has like a cream eyeshadow quite like this, but the reason why I decided to compare these two is not because they claim to be similar, but it's because I ordered this one because this is the newest shade from Charlotte Tilbury and I ordered this because this is new from Tom Ford. It's a part of the Soleil Summer Collection. And when I got them, it was almost exactly the same color. Like, they're almost identical. So I thought, wow, I wonder which one is best. So I was going to kind of test them out and then send back which one I thought didn't perform quite as good as the other. So I thought, I might as well just test it for you guys as well, in case one of you guys are interested. I mean, you just never know. So he has cream eyeshadow products in a pot. I think he has several different shades and I think he has some matte shades and I think he has some metallic shades. So just know that, that this is an actual liquid eyeshadow and these are somewhat similar to the Stila's, but they're not. Like the liquid eyeshadows from Stila is a little bit different of a formula. I would say this one is a little bit softer and mm, it, I, it doesn't quite dry the same. This is a little bit creamier of a product than the Stila's. And honestly, the formula on these two are very, very similar. So that is the reason why I decided to compare them. So we're gonna jump right into the information on each one of these products, and then I'm gonna jump into the tutorial. I'm gonna do some check-ins and come back. I'm gonna wear both of these for 12 hours, and then I'll come back and give you guys my full final thoughts on both of these. Tom Ford released this, like I said, in the summer collection. These are called the Aqua Metal Shadows. There are three different shades in this. I got it in the shade Violet Argente. I think is how you pronounce that. I probably botched it because you guys, I botch everything. Like if you guys have been with me for a minute, you know that I don't pronounce things very well. Like I, I admit it 100%. This retails for $46. There's not a lot of product in here. <laughs> it is 0.1 ounce, three grams, which is $15.33 per gram. So this is very expensive. It's way more than even the pots. They're translucent cooling liquid eyeshadow lacquers lid with metallic shine packed with lustrous mica based pearl pigment and water resistant polymers. The long wearing silky formula provides superior adhesion by creating a thin flexible film of color and that's pretty much exactly what they are. So I'm actually wearing this one on this side and then I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury on this side. The one from Charlotte Tilbury is called Eyes to Mesmerize. These retail for $32. They come in six different shades and this is the newest shade which this shade is Rose Gold. It's 0.24 ounces, seven mils, which makes it about $4.50 per mil. So it's much cheaper than the Tom Ford, both the ones in the pot and the liquid form. The description on this is a long lasting cream eyeshadow that features an easy non-creasing formula. Charlotte Tilbury's water infused shadow is enriched with soothing vitamin E and a liquid cream texture that is effortless to apply. Soft focus pigments, blur lines, and imperfections for a visibly youthful finish. It features an easy glide on formula in a striking high shine that won't drag on your delicate eye area. This is the Charlotte Tilbury in rose gold and then this is the Tom Ford in uh, a violet argente. So this is what it looks like blended out. Let me show you guys what it looks like when you first swatch it. They look very similar. I mean obviously the one from Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit more on the pink side, but they do look very similar and when you put them both on the eye, you can't really tell a difference that you're wearing two different ones. I'm gonna definitely wear them for 12 hours or longer just to give them a really good test. I will come back later on this evening to give you guys my full opinion on them and which one I feel like I like better. So without further ado, let's jump right into the application and I will see you guys in my first check-in. Okay, so it's time to apply each one of these on my eye. And I'm gonna test it throughout the day, do some check-ins, see which one creases. It may, may both crease, they may both not crease. And just kind of, you know, compare them next to each other because I'm very, very curious about these. I have my P. Louise eyeshadow base in shade three, my favorite eyeshadow base, by the way, on both eyes. And then I just 
lightly tapped a little bit of my flawless uh what is this called? Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I just kind of popped it over top just to kind of make it so it wasn't sticky. And that's all I've done on both eyes. So I'm gonna first go into the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna put the Charlotte Tilbury on this side. So this is what it looks like. And I have kind of played around with both of these, but not really like compared them side by side. So um, this is a very creamy product. So as you can see, it kind of is a moussey texture but as you blend it out, it kind of blends out nicely. You can kind of make it more opaque or you can make it more sheer-like. Obviously, it's completely up to your preference. With both of these, I don't recommend going in heavy-handed. I think you're gonna have a way better application if you just go in lightly. So I take a tiny bit like this and I'm just gonna place it all over my eye. Now for the tutorial, like if I was gonna wear these on a daily, I would obviously put a shade of something in my crease just to kind of give me some definition. But for the sake of the video and for the sake of comparing both of them side by side, I'm not gonna do that. Because of that, I'm gonna kind of bring a little bit of this up here. Now I will say the Charlotte Tilbury is very, very easy to apply. Sometimes I'll just kind of like do this with a dry brush and just kind of buff out the edges, but it's very easy to bring it up into that crease if you want to. And you guys, I am like barely tapping anything on my brush and kind of working in small sections, uh, you know, taking a tiny, tiny bit on the brush. But the nice thing about this too is that if you feel like you get it too thick in certain spots or you want to blend it out, you can also just take your finger and just kind of blend it out real easy. So I'm just going through to make sure that there's no thick spots anywhere and it's not, you know, I just want it to be a nice smooth application. And now I'm going to go in with the Tom Ford. And you know, this has an actual applicator on it, so it's kind of something similar to the Stila uh, liquid eyeshadows. So I'm just gonna place some right here and blend it out. Now, the difference between this and the Charlotte Tilbury is that this dries a little bit quicker. So with the Charlotte Tilbury, you kind of have time to finesse it. With this one, you really don't. As you can see, I've got kind of a line right there and I'm trying to like buff it out. So with the Charlotte Tilbury, you kind of have time to buff it out. The Tom Ford is more of a liquid product and it dries and sets down. So I just recommend kind of doing it quickly, keeping the brush and the applicator in your hands and just kind of working to get them blended out. So I'm gonna go ahead and call the check-in time. It's about 10 a.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear these throughout the rest of the day and I'll come back later on this evening to kind of give you guys my final thoughts on these. We're gonna see how they work, how they look, um, but they're both looking really, really pretty right now. Let's do a close-up. Okay, so this is what they look like close-up. So you guys can see, again, Charlotte Tilbury side and Tom Ford side. So they're kind of similar in shade. They're a little bit off as far as shade goes, but pretty similar. Okay, so that's it for the application portion of the video. I will see you guys in my first check-in. Okay, so I am back for a midday check-in on these two eyes. I've not even checked them all day. So it is currently, da, 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 come on phone. It is currently 4.15, so what time did I put these on? At like 10-ish? I can't remember. We'll just say it's been over six hours because I can't remember what time I applied these. But they're both holding up so good. Now the new mascara I'm trying out isn't holding up so good, but <laughs> but the actual, these two products are working pretty good. Let's pull you guys in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is how they're looking. This is the Charlotte Tilbury side. This is the Tom Ford side. And they're, both of them are very smooth. None of them are creasing. None of them are cracking. I mean, 
they are both holding up so good. And in fact, they are holding up almost exact same. I would say that the Tom Ford definitely has a little bit more of that metallic look to it. It's just a little bit more, you know, a little bit more oomph to it, but they're both so beautiful. Like I love them both so much. Let me go ahead and turn off the ring light. Okay, so this is what it looks like in more natural lighting. And again, Charlotte Tilbury side and Tom Ford side, and they both look so beautiful. They just, they don't really look like they, I don't know, I love the way these look. And I actually like the way it looks on my lower lash line too. I did take this highlighter, which is what I put on my face today. So I took the this, uh, this is the Cheerleader Mini Bronze Squad Palette from Benefit. And I took that metal shade called Cookie, which is so, Oh my God. Anyway, um, I put that on my inner corner just to kind of give something extra to the inner corner. But I think these are both looking so beautiful and I, I like them both. I really do. And I think the shade is very, very comparable. You looked at me, you'd never know that I had two different products on each eye. But like I said, the Tom Ford one is just a little bit more metallic-y, if you know what I mean. So that's it for this check-in. I will come back later on this evening to give you guys my full final thoughts on these. But so far, they both look so good. I mean, they're both holding up so well. And I I don't know. It's I'm going to be kind of curious to see which one I like more. And I'm going to go through the comments on the Charlotte Tilbury one from Sephora and see what people are not liking about the... Uh, mesmerize. It didn't seem to have the reviews that the Tom Ford one does. So I'm curious to see what people are not liking about this. And I will definitely let you guys know in my next update, which will be in a few hours. So I will see you guys in my final check-in. Okay, everyone, I'm back for my final check-in. It is 12 o'clock. So I've had both of these on for what? Gosh, I can't, I still can't remember what time I applied these this morning. So I've had them on for like 13 hours-ish. So before I give you guys my final thoughts, I'm gonna pull you guys in so you guys can see what this looks like and then we'll get into it. So here, don't mind my shiny head, okay? I'm not really that oily, but I look oily. Anyway, um, so again, this is the Charlotte Tilbury side and this is the Tom Ford side. And like, these have not cracked, creased, anything. Like they both, look so good and I've not had any issues with them. I mean, I can't see any issues with these. Like there's no creasing, there's no cracking. They both apply really beautifully. So let me give you guys my final thoughts on these. I like them both and I like them both in different ways. Uh, I would like the Tom Ford if it wasn't so expensive. Like I kind of feel like it's pretty ridiculously priced. <laughs> if I'm gonna be completely honest, it's pretty overpriced for what it is. And I feel like even though this one is just a tad bit metallic-y, I think that honestly, like I haven't wanted to do this all day, but I think I could go in with a highlighter, like maybe this shade Cookie, and kind of like barely press it over top of the Charlotte Tilbury one and make it just as like metallic-y or highlight-y as, that's not a word, but you know what I'm saying. I could make it kind of like the Tom Ford one, without the price. I mean, that just kind of gave it what it needed to kind of have that same impact. And I kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury one more just because it's more affordable. They're both really pretty on the eye. They both blend out beautifully on the eye. I would say you have a little bit more time to work with the Charlotte Tilbury only because it's cream and this is liquid. In all fairness to the Tom Ford, it gives you time to blend it out. So it's not like it you put it on and it dries really quickly, which sometimes that happens with liquid formulas like this. Um, I wouldn't say that that is the same for this one. Like this one really, they, I would say it probably gives you 30, 30 seconds to a minute to you know, go ahead and apply it, blend it out, and then once it sets, it's dried. So here's the thing. If you guys have been wanting to splurge or maybe the Tom Ford has a shade that you're really, really wanting out of those three shades, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. They're very expensive. Ugh, yeah. 
But I will say, in all fairness to Tom Ford, I do prefer this formula or the Stila. And I really like the Stila glitters and glows. I wish I could describe the differences between this and the Stila. But I feel like the Stila's is just um the kind of the way that they the way that they dry if you guys have ever used them you know what it means like they're they kind of feel wet and then they kind of dry and they feel you can feel them on your eye you can feel them sitting there like you feel like they're gonna crack and if you get them too thick they will crack this isn't like that this is a different formula so this is a liquid but it's also a cream at the same time so I really like this formula I think it's a really good formula but if this was the shade that you were interested in, I would spend less money and get this one and you actually get more in this than you do in this one. And that's just my opinion. I do really like these. I'm going to buy more of these from Charlotte Tilbury because I really, really do like the formula. Some of the negative comments that I've seen, like somebody said the color was really pretty. The color was pretty good for me and it felt good going on, but it didn't stay on very long. Within 30 minutes, it was creased. As I went through the day, it faded and got more creased, so I'm sending it back. Another person said, it never set on my eyes and it creased after two hours. I don't have oily, oily lids, so I don't know why it never set. They had the same problem, it didn't set. Now remember, I went in with the P. Louise eyeshadow base and then I set it with powder. So I will say, if you don't have some sort of powder on your eyelid before you go in with this, you probably will have that same problem because this is a creamy formula. When you put an eyeshadow base down and then you set it with powder, it's like you're locking your natural oils down underneath so that it won't affect these throughout the day. I feel like if I put this directly on my eye with nothing underneath it, this would definitely crease. If you don't properly prep that eye before going in with this, you will have that problem. And it's dried though, you guys, like, I would say, I mean, it's dried and it's been dried all day. So I would say it, it probably sets because I applied an eyeshadow base and I applied a powder over top of the eyeshadow base and then went in with this. I would say it dried probably maybe 10 minutes after I applied it. So it does take a little bit longer to dry than the Tom Ford, but it still dries down because this is a liquid creamy formula the Tom Ford I kind of feel like this would too like I don't know I can't say that for sure but I don't know that this would be a formula that you could go directly in without having a base down or some sort of powders to kind of control your natural oils on your eyelids just to control it from not like breaking up or creasing because this is a pretty creamy formula too even though it's liquid slash creamy it's not as creamy as this one but it's still it's still got a creaminess to it. It's still got a creamy texture. So if you're gonna use these, I highly 100% recommend use, going in with an eyeshadow base, going with a powder, and then going with these, and they're absolutely beautiful. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again for all the love that you guys show me and my channel. It absolutely means the world to me. Don't forget to come right back here tomorrow, you guys, because I'm going to be reviewing the new Juvia's Place foundation. I am so excited. I love you all so much, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day filled with love and happiness. I will see you guys in my next video, and I love you all so much. Bye.